Then, now watch this, this was at the end of 8. In chapter 9, then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. This is what we've got to get a hold of. We have been given a blank check that Jesus has already signed his name in blood so that we have the power and authority to heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out devils, preach the gospel. He said, as you go, go ahead. He gave us power over all devils to cast them out. He gave us power, authority over all sickness and over all disease to heal, to cure. Now get that. And then he gives us dunamis in the form of the Holy Spirit. Miraculous ability. The same power that went out of him when it said virtue, went out of him and healed the woman with the issue of blood. That same word, virtue there, in the Greek is dunamis. The same word that Jesus said, and you shall receive dunamis. After that, the Holy Ghost come upon you. So the very same power that healed that woman and everybody else that Jesus healed is in you. And you can do it. If you'll just get you off your mind and realize it's his power. And be like Peter. Why do you look at us as though we're something special? As though by our own power or our own holiness, we've made this man to walk. No, it was the name of Jesus and faith in that name that made this man whole. That's what it comes down to. We have the name above all names. We have that name that's been given authority over everything else. Every enemy has been put under his feet. Yet we don't see all things under his feet yet. Why? Because his body hasn't put all things under his feet. But legally, they're all under his feet. Now our job is to make them under his feet. How do we get them under his feet? By putting them under your feet. As long as there is a sick Christian then that means that all his enemies are not put under his feet. I would even stretch it to say a human. But I want you to understand, you don't have a right to be sick. Do you understand that? I'm not condemning you. The enemy attacks, things happen. I'm just saying you don't have a right to, to be sick, to stay sick, or to accept sickness and make it some holy thing about how God is teaching you and training you and all that. That is a lie from the pit of hell. That's a doctrine of devils. And you've got to get rid of that. You've got to decide. Look how freely Jesus healed the sick. Look how freely he raised the dead. Look how freely that he cast out devils. Anybody said, hey, what about, yep. Would you, uh uh-huh. Can you, uh uh-huh, yep, I'll be right there. That's the way he acted. He did whatever they asked him to do. Why? Because he knew he had total authority over all sickness, over all disease, and over all devils. And that authority is in him, and it's because of his name. And you have that name. Do you get that? You're in that family if you're born again. If Jesus is your Lord, you have been changed. His spirit dwells in you. And that power dwells in you and you have that name and now you can act and talk and live just like he did. Guess what that means? That means freedom from every need. Now, understand there are things that we suffer and there are needs that come up. And if you're going to travel and minister and things like that, you're going to go to some countries where they don't have all the comforts and all the stuff that you're used to. So you may suffer a little bit while you're there. But it'll be worth it. And so whenever you look at these things, but now as far as you being and you doing what you're supposed to do, listen, you don't have to suffer any lack, any need, any of those areas. You being sick, that's a lack of health. But he is the God who heals you. So he doesn't want you to have a lack of health. Amen? Amen. And it's the same thing in every area. Every area. Go back and read all of his names, all the Jehovah names. They cover every aspect of human life. Every aspect. And if you know him and you know his name and the name of Jesus is all of those names wrapped up in one. And when you recognize that, you realize when you say Jesus and you said it all. Amen. Amen. 